my guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I'm talking about an over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the end times, we have the sunset going down over the end times on this glorious Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023. I think I'm getting ready to take this right turn and be blinded by the sun. I guess we're heading down to 52 degrees here tonight on uh, August 22nd. So, uh, anyway, I am ready for a margarita, baby. And, uh, <clears throat> so I have just been uh, over at NPR dot com. Oh, there's a bunch of tiny houses. Those are pigeon houses, actually. Uh, I decided I would check in with NPR.com to see what kind of hopium bullshit uh, they were peddling today, and I was absolutely shocked. I, I wish I had turned on the... <coughs> Turned on the microphone here. I was absolutely shocked. You know, it's this when uh, NPR teams up with the New York Times. I think the program is called The Daily or something like that. When NPR is interviewing a New York Times uh, reporter, and I'm thinking, oh my God. Here comes the limp dick lefty hopium peddling of the day. Well, what it was, I can't remember the name of the reporter, but she was, she calls herself a biodiversity reporter. And what she was talking about <clears throat> was the, uh, the coral bleaching going on down there this summer in Florida that she's covering that story and then inside of the NPR reporter interviewing the New York Times reporter the New York Times reporter was interviewing I guess one of the major coral researchers oh boy am I gonna go into a fucking god damn it uh, I love taking all of these back roads through the forest. Another dead tree falling across the road. Gee, what a goddamn surprise. I guess this is a... I don't know what kind of dead tree this is. Oh, boy. You know... <laughs> You don't have to get very far from home to see everything just just fucking falling apart. Uh, so anyway, uh, this one of these big coral researchers whose name I can't remember, uh, you know, is featured widely in this story, and I am absolutely shocked to report I don't know whether this is a good thing or not there was no hopium anywhere in the story no hopium there was there was exactly zero hopium coming from the actual coral researcher uh, you know the boots on the ground or boots under the water coral I guess there was two researchers uh, no hopium whatsoever. We're fucked. Uh, the coral reefs are fucked. There's not a fucking thing we're going to do about it. Uh, the uh, New York Times biodiversity uh, reporter. I'm not sure you're going to. Why are you sitting down like that? You need to be looking for rabbits. Uh, the New York Times reporter uh, not putting one optimistic spin on the story and the uh, NPR reporter 
never asking. I, I kept waiting, uh, you know, at the end of the story, uh, the wrap-up about how they were going to save the fucking coral reefs and, and all of this happy horse shit. Not a word. Not a word. Uh, everybody uh, from the two coral research scientists to the New York Times reporter to the NPR reporter just saying the, the, the coral reefs are fucked. They're fucked. They're going away. There's not a fucking thing uh, that, that anybody on this planet is going to do about it. Nothing. Coral reefs are going straight down uh, the goddamn toilet, and you heard it first here on NPR. I guess you heard it first in the New York Times. You heard it second in, uh, on, on NPR. That no, no one's even kidding themselves anymore. And uh, one thing the <clears throat> you know, this coral researcher who's been studying these coral reefs for 50 years so he has 50 years of personal real-time historical data and he was talking about this concept that we, we talk about a lot doomers talk about uh, uh, about these shifting baselines about, you know, when he was first starting out studying coral reefs 50 years ago, uh, how they were just absolutely mind-blowing. And what he has seen uh, happen uh, over the years. And, but, but he says, you know, for someone, for some tourist down there in Florida, not knowing what they're looking at, that you, you you know, a lot of these clueless fucking moron people go down there to Florida today and they see a bunch of coral. Well, of course, it's all dead, but, but they don't know, they can't recognize a goddamn dead coral from a live coral. You know, they, he says they, they see some little sea fans blowing around. They might see an occasional pretty little angelfish or something. And, you know, from their perspective, with nothing to compare it to, uh, they go away. You know, think about all of these goddamn alarmists uh, talking about the coral reefs. I, I've heard some, uh, some hints that, uh, uh, what's his face? Jimmy Dore has been going around spouting that coral reefs are is in good a shape that they've ever been there's more coral now than there than there's ever been on the planet uh you know and this is what this uh researcher was talking about it is about clueless fucking morons like uh jimmy Dore, uh, who don't know a goddamn thing about what the fuck they're talking about and and they go and uh, you know they go swimming around the coral reefs in florida and they and they see a bunch of coral and start talking about how oh, there's all of this coral of course all the coral's dead uh but the you know i mean this dude was i mean he was literally in tears uh talking about that what has happened this summer and in, in the in the summer of 2023 that it, it, it is you know worse than the worst case scenario that it, you know that anybody these marine biologists ha have ever imagined in their worst nightmares that it is 100 percent mortality 100 percent mortality and that the coral reefs in florida which is what this story they're 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 just completely totally fucked and there there is uh you know there was none of this fucking happy horseshit hopium 
uh, about growing coral in the lab and like uh, they're, they're just gonna go replant the fucking coral next year and it's just gonna grow back like a patch of fucking daisies it, it, it ain't fucking happening uh, it's gone it's fucked <clears throat> Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. And it is a spectacularly gorgeous evening here in uh, upstate New York, baby. What is it? It is 63 degrees here as the sun goes down. Uh, heading down to 52 degrees tonight. And... Uh, I've got to bundle up, bundle up in my tiny house before the big weekend. I guess we have another full weekend this weekend and then good God, Labor Day weekend next weekend. I'm gonna be crazy here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So, uh, get out there and get down to Florida and uh, put on your rose colored glasses and uh, enjoy your shifting baselines looking at what did he say 350 mile stretch of dead coral and uh, thinking you're looking at a goddamn ecosystem like that clueless fucking moron Jimmy Dore. Uh, I really have to find what was it that Jimmy Dore said about corals and who exactly he was, uh, you know, citing for his, uh, his conclusions and that the coral reefs are uh, in good shape. Oh, fuck, we're so fucked. Anyway. Then there's a fine looking. Did the Amish guys build that? They did. And they just brought it here and moved it on. Yeah. Well, that's nice looking. Pretty heavy though. Ah. Uh.